Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is your Tito, ready to teach you. Before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe at huwag din kalimutan i-click ang notification bell para mag updated kayo sa mga bago kong videos. For this episode, we will be discussing data validation in MS Excel, requested by one of our subscribers, Irvin Sena. Data validation is a feature of Excel used to control what a user can enter into a cell. Pinipigilan din niya ang mga invalid input ng user. In addition, data validation can be used para sa mga predefined choices. Ito yung tinatawag natin drop-down menu. So let's check our example here. So let's make it very simple. Uh, we have CP and then cell number. So let's start with the drop-down menu example. Okay. For this sheet, I create ako ng predefined cities. For example, Metro Manila. So ito yung mga cities ng Metro Manila. Tinipe ko lang siya dito. So let's go back to sheet 1. And then, ang gagawin natin, click natin itong cell na to. And then, let's click Data Validation. Okay. Let's click Settings. Okay. Dito sa Settings tab. Drop down dito. Hanapin lang natin yung list. Okay. For the list, we have to click the source. Let us click this button. Okay. And then, let's go here to Sheet 2. And then, let's just select this list. Okay. And then, let's click Enter. Okay. And then, click OK. Kung papansin nyo, ito na po siya. Okay, nandito na. So, all we have to do is to uh, drag this para lahat sila meron. Or you can just copy-paste. Okay, hanggang sa dulo. So, in that way, uh, pag nag input tayo ng information, limited yung sources or yung information or yung data na pwede natin ipasok. Hindi siya magkakamali ng spelling or mga spaces whatsoever. So, predefined na siya. Okay. So, let's move on to our next, exa next example, which is yung pag-represent natin or yung uh, para makita na or para ma-prevent yung mga invalid input. So, so, let's select this cell and then let's click data validation and let's click whole number since cell phone number siya. So, dito sa atin sa Philippines, uh, nagsisimula yung mobile number sa 9 or 0 pero for this case, gawin lang natin yung 9 nagsisimula. So, in-eliminate natin yung 0 so we have uh, 10 digits so the minimum should be 9 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay. so 10 digits na to ok Sorry. and then the maximum should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ok so let's go to the input message ito lagay lang natin para ma-notify lang sila please input your 9DG mobile number. And then, let's do this error alert. Play lang natin dito sa error message. Please use prescribed format. And then, let's click OK. So, ang papasin nyo, lumabas na dito. Okay, please input your 9DG mobile number. Okay, subukan natin ng input. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so, wala siyang, wala siyang sinabi dahil tama yung formatting natin. What if uh, sinobrahan natin? Ligyan natin. Okay. Sinobrahan natin. Okay. So, ayan siya. Mag-alert siya. Kasabi niya, please use prescribed format. Which is yung nilagay natin kanina. So, this is data validation. Kung nagustuhan nyo at may natutunan kayo, don't forget to like this video at mag-comment kayo kung ano pa ang gusto nyo idagdag ko on my future contents. Thank you so much.